Honestly, making good-looking charts in PowerPoint has always been tricky, but I found a way to fix it. In this tutorial, I'll take you step by step to build this dashboard in PowerPoint. Because when you learn this, you'll never design PowerPoint the same way again. Stick around until the end. Let's start with picking infographic template from home, more templates, then search what you want. I'm choosing an infographic roadmap. But this template needs some changes. So first, in view tab, choose a slide master and make changes. I need a blank slide, so I add it to the end. In first slide, align text boxes to the left side. And then copy the main infographic from the first slide in master layout and then close the master. Here, I remove these slides and add a blank slide from new slide and paste the infographic in it. Why? Because Morph only works on real object, not on master elements. Now I add titles. Then duplicate the slide and move the roadmap and title out of the slide. Then it's time to move circles. Group them with their titles. And then change their distance from format shape, align and distribute it horizontally. And notice this. Place the white rectangle behind all of your elements. This layer will later hide our charts until we want to reveal them. But these circles without data are just decoration, so let's add their charts. From Insert tab, Charts, and choose one of them. I'm using pie charts. Then from here, select Donut charts. Then click OK. It depends on your data. Now in this table, you can change the numbers, columns, and rows. So I change the statistics, the chart title, and then write the name of statistics. Then I change the chart size and add the data label from chart elements. But as you can see, a default donut is too chunky, so I reduce the thickness from format chart area, select them and from series option, reduce the donut hole size. Also choose the data labels and change their colors from text option to become visible. Now you can design it from chart design and change its colors. Then do the same for three other levels. Do you remember the white layer? So we send the charts behind that. Now they will stay invisible until the cover animation happens. Now we want to add a cover that feels like a door opening. So in Insert tab, add a rectangle, change its color to gray and add soft edge. So it looks like a shadow. Then place the second one on top of the other and change its color to white and move it a little downward. Now group them together. Now repeat this for all four charts. Again choose one of the covers, copy that, then in format shape choose rotate, then rotate it and place it here. Again, repeat it four times, but stacking them directly creates a problem. Overlapping shadows in the middle. So first, ungroup them, and from format shape, choose selection pan, select shadows, and then drag them behind the grouped covers. This step is easy to miss, but it keeps whole design polished. 
Now drag the circles and their titles to the top. Now let's see what happens when we actually open one. This is a magic moment. Duplicate the second slide and for Q1, move the cover pieces downward and upward, like door opening. And select the white layer and send it to the back. So, Q1 chart appears. Now do the same for other charts. It's satisfying, but it's not complete, because a donut chart without explanation is like a donut with no sprinkles. Here's empty for details. So I draw a vertical line and choose its style from here. Now add my text to all four slides. And it's not too much crowded. But that's exactly where Action Tool changed everything. From Insert tab, I draw a rectangle right on top of Q1. Then in Insert tab, Action Tool, choose Mouse Over tab and link it to a slide tree, which reveals Q1 chart. I repeat this for three other circles. And our every charts reveals just by hovering above them. And then change their transparency and outline. Now I copy them into all charts slides. So every slide have these buttons. This is where the slides stop being a slideshow. And they are like a dashboard. But now we need one final ingredient, which is Morph. Select all of the slides, then in Transition tab, choose Morph. The Morph duration is good, but for charts reveals, 2 seconds feels slow. So I reduce it to half a second. That way, the movement is quick, smooth and never boring. Let's watch it in action. All of these covers, shadows and more built with nothing but native PowerPoint. No plugins and no coatings. Have you tried it before? Probably not. But now you know how to surprise your audience and don't forget to like and subscribe this. Next week, next trick.